Hi everyone, this is Jessica Murray M. Nortizo from BS Electronics 3A and this is performance number 10 named Synchronous Digital Hierarchy or SDH. So, so, before we start, what we need to know in this video? So, what we need to know? What is SDH? Example of SDH, the frame form and structure of SDH, and also the summary. So, yeah. First, so, what is Synchronous Digital Hierarchy? So, Synchronous Digital Hierarchy is a group of fiber optic transmission rates that transport digital signals with different capacities. SDH technology enables low bit rate data streams to combine with high rate data streams or furthermore, as the whole network is synchronous, it enables users to embed an exact individual bit streams from high rate data streams relatively easy. So SDH or synchronous digital hierarchy is the International Telecommunication Union's telecommunication standardization sector version of the synchronous optical optic or SONET. So both technologies provide faster and cheaper network interconnections and traditional Persochronous Digital Hierarchy or PDH equipment. So, SDH is used in transmission system for broadband and integrated services, digital network, and for transporting asynchronous transfer mode of cells, Ethernet organizations, PDF signals, storage area network signals, and other communication signals. So, SDH systems were developed in the late 1980s and early in 1990s to replace the PTH technology. The, re replace P the primary goal was to eliminate potential synchronization issues for bulk data and telephone exchanges. The data transfer rate also increased in a simple and more flexible optical fiber-based network infra infrastructure. So that is what is Synchronous digital hierarchy. So they have so many. There are so many definition, but it is more the more accurate definition of HD, SDH, and next. So, what is synchronous digital hierarchy, and? SDH uses the following synchronous transport modular STMs and rate by STM1-1 155 megabits per second or STM4-622 Mbps and STM2-1 165 gigabits per second and STM-64-10 give per second so this is the sample of fiber optic cable which composed of the fibers the Kevlar strength member and also the 125 omicron cladding and 60.5 omicron core the next so how does synchronous digital hierarchy work so how does it work then on a synchronous clock network each SDH combines a bit rate of B with a signal to create data streams with bit rate of NXB. This differs significantly from the PDH as PDH comes with individual transmission paths that are minimal clock discrepancies. The synchronous mode of SDH enables low order multiplex system to be added and draw from higher hierarchy levels. For example, this is how communication links in telephone system operate. It achieves all in its accordance in the standard that recognizes different hierarchies such as ST1-1. Is it what I, what I said earlier? STM-4, STM-16, or STM-64. The data is transparently transformed over the SDH network in containers. In this scenario, Users can reserve approximately 5% of the gross data rate for operation, administration, and maintenance purposes. So, HDN basically works in the software running on the network. It often uses transaction language 1 over Q3 protocols to transport network management data between the system, terminally, and HDN equipment. 
finally, it transferred the network management data between SDH system using dedicated embedded data communication channels so users can achieve SDH within the section of the line overhead. So HD, S, H, SDH or Synchronous Digital Hierarchy also uses connection based on fiber and optics cables, copper lines, and satellite and directional radio links on the physical layer. Regenerator refresh muted or distorted signals and the multiplexes combine the signals into high bit rate data streams on the superior layer. However, users can also use digital containers to transport individual containers data. It enables the control mapping of the various signals of different bit rates as well. So yeah, how does the organization use containers? In this picture, how you can see, the production application is 41%. The, the DEX or test and, and reproduction only plan to use them for production apps in the next 12 months, 30%. Plan to start using them in the next 12 months, 12%. 12 aren't using containers, blue are interested, 9%, and have to, no interest is 5%. So, what are the keys advantage of using SDH technology? And here are the list of the keys that advantage of using HDH technology. SDH is more extensive and less expensive than traditional PDH technologies. Other benefits of using SDH system include the following. So, number one, it is consistently uses more specified, simplified multiplexing and demultiplexing techniques. And the optical fiber bandwidth can increase without a limit. It has improved maintenance protocols with easy growth to higher bit rates. Higher bit rate. So, Ring provides switching protection to data traffic and it quickly interconnects with various networks. It has a comprehensive network management system and it has flexible self healing network. So, it can support existing PDH broadband and broadcast signals. It continues to remain popular within telecommunication and networks and operators. It enables rapid recovery from failure. It offers network transmission services on local area networks for interactive multimedia like video conferencing. It supports multiple operators or vendors and also it, it supports multi-point network networking. So that is the, the advantage of the SDH technology. But it has also the disadvantage. So, but why SDH? So, why SDH to be used? So, it has high transmission rates. Also, this is then another advantage of SDH. Transmission rates up to 10 GB can be achieved in modern SDH system, making it more suitable technology for backbones, the superhighways in technology communication networks. It is also simplified add and drop function. Compared to older PDH system, low bit rate channels can be easily extracted from inserted into the high-speed bit streams in SDH, eliminating the need for costly demultiplexing and remultiplexing the Basayo chrono structure. It is also has high available availability and capacity matching. SDH enable network providers to react quickly and easily to their customers' requirements such as switching list lines in just a minute. Network providers can use standardized network elements or NE that they can control monitor from a central location with a telecommunication management network or TMM system. So it has also reliable. Modern SDH networks include various automatic backup circuits and repair mechanisms that manage can monitor to cope with system faults so that the link or NE failures do not lead to entire network failure. Then next, it is the future-proof platform for new services. Wow! SDH is a ideal platform for wide range of services including POTS, ISDN, mobile radio, and data communication such as LAN and WAN. It can also handle more recent services such as video on demand and digital video broadcasting via APM. So, it has, and lastly, it has the interconnection. So, why SDH interconnection? So, SDH simplifies gateway setup between different network providers to the SONAT system. 
the SDH interfaces are globally standardized, making it possible to combine NES from different manufacturers into a single network which reduces equipment costs. So that's it. So we are going to find also the disadvantage of it. So first, disadvantage of SDH So here are the drawbacks of digital or the adv disadvantages of SDH. It offers lower bandwidth utilization ratio compared to PDH due to many OH bytes used for OAM. It is directly adding dropping of low rate signals is achieved using pointers. This increased complexity to the system and also the software is used largely in SDH system. That is the disadvantages of the SDH technology. And next the frame format structure of SDH. So this is the format structure of SDH where you can see in the picture above or in my presentation. Yeah. So I'm going to explain that one. So the remainder of the overhead, the multiplex section overhead or MSOH is used for multiplex section needs and converts the part of the SDH link between multiplexers. So the carrier of the virtual containers or VC are available as payload at the edge of end of its section which represent the part of mapping process. The procedure of packaging the tributary signals such as PDH and ATM to the SDH transport modules VC for mapping is used for 140 Mbps or ATM signals and VC12 mapping is used for B Mbps signals, as you can see there. So, communication networks gradually converted to digital technology after PCM was introduced in the 1960s. And a multiplex hierarchy known as Plesosynchronous Digital Hierarchy or PTH involved to cope with the demand for ever higher bit rates. The bit rate starts with a basic multiplex rate of 2 Mbps with the further stages of 8, 34, and 140 Mbps. In the North America and Japan, however, the primary rate is 1.5 Mbps with additional stages of 6 and 44 Mbps as shown, as shown in the figure and this fundamental development difference made gateway setup between the network and both difficult and expensive. In response to the demand for the increases bandwidth reliability and high quality service, HDS developed steadily during the 1980s, eliminating many inherent disadvantages in PTH and in turn network provide and in turn Network provides began to benefit from the many technological and economic advantages this new technology introduced as discussed in this section. The next. So here are the the H SDH layer model of the SDH which is H date networks are subdivided into various layers of directly related to the network topology. The lowest layer is the physical layer or physical interface, which represents the transmission medium. Usually, the glass fiber or possibly a radio or satellite link. The generator section of the path between the ge regenerators in a figure, as you can see that one, and the part of regenerator overhead RSOH. There is available for signal required within this layer. That's it. So, these are the example of SDH. So, SDH subtitles or subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing are popular option for video platforms and many people come to us to wonder what it means. Essentially, SDH refers to subtitles that meet the additional needs of viewers who do not hear the full soundtrack 
of a program. So, as the age of titles include indicators of every audible element, for example, sound effects, gunshots, barking dogs, ringing phones, beeping text, and whooshing light sobers are also examples of sounds that describe in the HD. SDH speaker identification. So without a simple or name identifying the speaker, lines of dialogue will run together, leaving the viewer confused over who said what and when. This is especially important for off-screen speakers. So the music also, example of SDH music, lyrics, and musical descriptors are important elements of production soundtrack. These are included in SDH subtitles. So my summary. Is the part of the summary. So, the summary is that communication network gradually converted to digital technology after PCM was introduced in 1960. So, in response to demand for increased bandwidth, reliability, and high-quality service, HTS was developed steadily during the 1980s and eliminating many inherent disadvantages in PPH. So, in return, network providers began to benefit from the many technological economic advantages this that technology introduced as discussed in this section. So, it has the advantage of high transmission rates, simplified add and drop function, high availability and capacity matching, Reliability, future proof platform for new services, interconnection, and also it has a synchronous digital hierarchy of terms of layer models. So, telecommunication technology like SDH are generally explained using so called layer models, and what I have said earlier. And also, it has these components of synchronous network. And that's it. So, That's all in this video, in this presentation. It's just Camry and Artisan once again. This is ECE 23 performance number 10, and this is just Camry and Artisan from BS Electronics Engineering 3A. And that's all. Thank you.